Oh shit, it's your boy Mr. RTBA. I'm from that 214. I'm on that bullshit again. I'm on that bullshit today, right? Y'all know how I do. I was scrolling up my articles and shit. And what do I see? The 30-day weigh-in came in with Canelo Alvarez versus Daniel Jacobs. Canelo Alvarez came in at 168. Daniel Jacobs came in at 175, you understand me. And this is my thing right here with this. This is probably the biggest fight Daniel Jacobs has ever been in in his life. In my opinion, you shouldn't be, he should be down at about like 170 with 30 days left to come in. Look at Canelo, 168, ready. Could basically just train and knock that off. Daniel Jacobs not gonna be able to be Canelo thinking, oh, his size. Now, in my opinion, he have to be in the best shape of his life. He should be lean. You know, he should be mean. He shouldn't be having to drop no 15 pounds with 30 days left, even though we know it could happen. But look at Canelo. All he got to do is drop eight pounds, fam. So, in my opinion, I feel like Daniel Jacobs should have came in like 170, 171. Not at no 175 with 30 days left to go in this fight, man. This just shows me Canelo Alvarez um, gonna have the advantage going into this fight, man, because Daniel Jacobs coming in at 175 and not being leaner than that 15 pounds off for 30 days, he's trying to think a size advantage is going to be Canelo, and it's not going to work. Y'all know how I do. Mr. 214, I'm on that bullshit again.